Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the main card of UFC 186 right now. We are talking with Nick Kalikas from MMAOddsBreaker.com, professional odds maker and consultant for high profile sports books on MMA odds making. And also joining us over the phone, MMA analyst uh, Brad Taschuk, who's also a contributor at MMAOddsBreaker.com. Steve Basse and Maldonado, you know, Rampage Jackson out, and we get Basse. Right now, Basse plus 225. As an underdog, Maldonado minus 265. You know, Basse is an interesting opponent here. He was at one point a, a legitimate prospect, but now I think he's a little bit of, a, of, of an unknown entity. He's only fought once since 2011. Uh, you know, clearly Maldonado should be a favorite. Uh, the question is just uh, how much of a favorite should he be? And the way you measure that is is what to expect from Basse, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. Let's start with you, Nick Kalikas. Where did you open this line and why? I opened Maldonado minus 215, so the okay. line has been bet up a little bit. Um, now, and of course, this is stylistically, it's an interesting fight. If Basse wasn't out for so long and he had a full camp for this fight, didn't take this fight on short notice, um, the line margins would be even a little bit tighter. If you look at styles, I mean, obviously Fabio has been winning his fights by outlasting his opponents. I mean, he out cardios him recently. He's been getting dominated in, in most fights in round one, and then he hangs on because those guys that uh, he's been fighting have had terrible cardio issues, and they end up losing in round two or, you know, or round three or so. So um, or he takes over, I should say, as, as the fight goes on, and Fabio, basically with his skill set on the feet, he is a pretty solid striker, no doubt about it. He's got pretty good boxing. He's got a ton of heart. Um, overall, his takedown defense at times is okay. I mean, against good grapplers or anybody that uh, has really goes for takedowns, they're able to, to get him down to the floor a lot of times, too. So he has some problems, I think. I think he's a bit overrated. Um, in his fight against Stipe Miocic, Miocic was able to, to knock him out. So that's a question mark in my head as well. I know Stipe is a heavyweight, and that fight, again, had different circumstances around it. But that being said, I think Fabio is eventually going to hit a decline spot. He hasn't really showed it yet. Since that fight uh, with Stipe, he's bounced back. He's rebounded nicely, took some shots, and he's been fine. But... I don't have a lot of confidence in the guy, honestly. Again, he gets beat almost every time in round one um, and then comes back and ends up winning it. And this could be the same case here. That's why it's mm -hmm. even tough to bet a guy like Bossy because I think that um, he, with the short notice, his cardio has always been a little bit of an issue as it is if you look back at his fights. And his cardio is really not going to be up to par. So if he doesn't get rid of Fabio early, he's not going to win the fight. Right. More than likely, Fabio will take over. Well, that's not a very ringing endorsement of a minus 265 favorite. Uh, Brad Tastuck, do you think that uh, if someone wanted to bet the side here that it's either a dog or pass? Yeah, I would even go further and say that it's uh, probably dog in round one or pass. Wow. Uh, because as Nick said, Steve Bosse doesn't have good cardio. He's taking this fight on short notice. He hasn't fought in forever. Prior to that, he had another layoff where he hadn't fought in forever. He was retired because of injuries and all sorts of things. But you know, obviously he came out of retirement to take this fight. So there's a whole lot of things going against Steve Bosse here where – I, I think he has absolutely zero chance to win a decision mm -hmm. or win this fight if it goes uh, any sort of decent length. But he is a very, very strong puncher. And as Nick said, we've seen Fabio Maldonado get his chin cracked and Stipe Miocic put him out. Uh, obviously, Stipe is a heavyweight. He hits very hard. But Steve Bosse, he's fought at heavyweight. He does hit very hard as well. So He's going to be dangerous in the first round. Uh, if Fabio can survive that, he's going to win this fight. He's going to stop uh, Steve Bosse, in my opinion, because Bosse is going to be tired. Fabio is going to start hitting him to the body, making him want to get out of there. You know, a guy that hasn't fought in as long as Bosse does, he's not really going to want to be in there and be in a prolonged war. Mm -hmm. So once Fabio gets him tired, starts working the body, I think that, uh, that Bosse will get out of there. But in terms of that first round, that's enough to, to scare me away from betting Fabio straight. Nick Kalikas, sounds like then that uh, that the sports books have taken more Maldonado action. Yes, and that's okay because I do think, I mean, Brad hit the nail on the head with uh, his breakdown completely. I think Bossy has enough power and has enough skill that he can make things interesting. I wouldn't be surprised at all if he goes out there and knocks Fabio out in the first round. Um, and if you look at it, he's really, I mean, an athlete. He's got the hockey background, of course. Um, that's what he's known for. But, I mean, he's a guy that took the sport serious for a long time, and he really improved his skill set, especially training with TriStar and those guys. Um, the guy's not that bad. Again, cardio issues, time off, that's what what the problems are here. But yeah, I think Bosse has a really solid shot of, of knocking him out early. But again, if not, if it goes beyond uh, round one, I do agree with Brad. I think that uh, Fabio ends up probably finishing him. All right, another fight that uh, might not be too enticing um, in terms of from a fan perspective, but from a betting perspective, we might have some value here. Bosse in the first round or Maldonado any which way. Thanks so much, guys.